From the newsroom at news.com.au. G'day, I'm Andrew Bucklow, and this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Wednesday, the 24th of March. Tasmanian Liberal Senator Erica Betts has been accused of slut-shaming former coalition staffer Brittany Higgins, who was allegedly raped in Parliament House. Sue Hickey, who was until recently a member of the Tasmanian Liberal Party, spoke on the floor of State Parliament about a private conversation she said she had with Senator Abetz. He then said, as for that Higgins girl, anybody who is so disgustingly drunk who would sleep with anybody could have slept with one of our spies and put the security of our nation at risk. Mr Abetz has categorically denied making the comments, describing them as mischievous assertions made under parliamentary privilege. In other news, there were blue skies in New South Wales today, meaning authorities are now shifting their focus towards the clean-up effort after those devastating floods. Here's New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian. We're also starting to focus on the clean-up and the recovery because we know what a substantial task that will be. We're certainly not out of the woods in terms of the immediate flood danger, but we have to turn our minds to how we start the clean-up and the recovery. Flood-affected residents are being warned about contaminated water after disruptions to water pumping stations and sewage treatment plants. Up to 1,000 firefighters will be deployed to assist with the clean-up effort, along with personnel from the Australian Defence Force. And in travel news, Virgin Australia is scrapping free food from its economy bookings. From tomorrow, people will have to shell out money if they want to eat on board. Customers who booked their economy ticket before March 25 will still be entitled to a complimentary snack, but they'll have to ask a flight attendant on board to claim it. To sport and the NRL has all but confirmed it will introduce a second team from Brisbane to the competition in 2023. NRL CEO Andrew Abdo and ARL Commission Chairman Peter Vlandes are expected to begin meeting with Brisbane Consortia in the coming weeks with the aim of providing clarity on expansion by the middle of the year. Mr Abdo is also keen to add a second team from New Zealand so that there'll be an even 18 teams in the competition. And in showbiz, one of the Bondi Rescue lifeguards has revealed that he had a secret role in Muriel's wedding. It turns out Hoppo was a body double for David LaPayne, who played swimmer David Van Arkel in the 1994 film. Lifeguarding wasn't 12 months a year, it was only a seasonal job, so I had to go pick up some extra work. Have a look at me there in the background, was cast as an extra to start with, and then from there I uh, did a bit of doubling for the main actor, uh, a bit of swimming in the pool. I think it deserves an Emmy. And finally, some sad news. Comedic actor George Segal, best known for playing Jack Gallo on Just Shoot Me, has died aged 87. Now, if you desperately need to update your tech, news.com.au has you covered by giving one lucky winner an Apple MacBook and AirPods Pro worth $2,300. Head to news.com.au slash win to enter today. That's it for this episode of From the Newsroom. I'll be back tomorrow morning. Your headlines from news.com.au. 